Alright, I wanted to talk about something and then Chris Moo dropped the video and I knew I had to talk about it. He was talking about shooting. Now, please y'all, stop complaining about the sliders. If we have to go through another year of Mike Wang himself switching up the sliders every two weeks, I'm gonna lose my mind. There's a very real possibility that some of you are just bad at the game. And I heard Chris move up and say it in a video. I was like, yo, it's cool somebody's finally saying it. Cause there's no way everybody could be good. There's game, I was playing Rainbow the other day, getting my ass whooped and I knew I was trash. But on 2K, come on. So YMD Gento actually uploaded a poll and it got me low key kind of gassed up, man. Because he tweeted, how do you feel about shooting on the playground? And there's three options. The one that got the most options was field goal percentage needs a boost. If you feel it needs a boost, you're just bad. It's not difficult. Either that or you're just strategically looking out for your own best interest. It's only two options. But I was playing with a slasher the other day, a pure one, a super pure slasher was hitting in the corner. Explain that. Like the people that know how to shoot will shoot regardless of the archetype and the circumstances. It'll just be like that. And if we have to go through another cycle, please don't make me do it. I will lose my mind. So we're gonna react to Chris move. He dropped a video. I cut out specific small portions of it because first of all, it was hilarious. Second of all, he was spitting facts. If anything, the shooting, and maybe I need to whisper this, but the shooting might need to be Tone down a Wait, little bit. Hey, 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 it feels good to hear someone else say it. He said it quietly, Chris Move, I'm gonna need you to say it a little bit louder. It does need to be. And again, there's gonna be people watching this video like, Agent, I don't think so. And it's because this, I'm telling y'all it's impossible to find a balance. We all know the solution. How many times do I have to say the solution? But still, 2K has not implemented the solution. That literally every other video game sees and goes, that's pretty logical. 2K sees it and goes, Nah, that's too easy. We wanna, we wanna go the complicated route where people get furious and then happy and then it's a whole cycle. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing wrong with the shooting. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put that on loop for the rest of the video. I'm gonna just let it play out. Cause that's how I feel. There's nothing wrong with it. If there was ever a balance when it comes to shooting, we're at it right now. Anybody who knows what they're doing is gonna hit. Now this year, you can be any archetype. As long as you're in the corner, you can hit. You just need the, the three cheese jump shots that everybody in the game uses. Yo, shout out in the comment section of that video, man. Somebody left a comment saying, my three pointer is at 77. I always miss open on pro. Is it just my jump shot or am I trash? First of all, I made a video on that topic. So go ahead, click it. Second of all, there was a reply to that comment saying, it's the jump shot, bro. Look at Aegis Mario's jump shot. Hey, I appreciate it. We all know. We know the truth now, right? The tests have been done. Really, you can take any jump shot that's mediocre, and if you're wavy, you can make it hit. You don't need a specially amazing jump shot, but of course it helps to have one because it makes life a lot easier. I think tomorrow, actually, I have a video coming out using the most garbage jump shots in the game. And it's hilarious because regardless of what I do, I can't hit a green. So as long as you don't have one of those booty jump shots, you're fine. We, for the most, most people know that though, right? I think it's just like people want to see an advantage because when the game launched, it was difficult to shoot and the people that knew what they were doing was hitting and everybody who was mediocre and under were breaking, they were inconsistent with the shot and they were furious if sharpshooters missing because they didn't know how to release the ball properly. And I enjoyed it because I was hitting my shots, but people complained Mike Wang made it easier. And those same people that complained saying it was too difficult to shoot at launch are the people saying sharpshooters are overpowered right now. What did you expect? That every build would get a three point boost for sharpshooters? Can we talk about how at mid range, especially anything below 15 feet, it's literally automatic. You don't even have to have a good release. I've seen the videos of people just hitting garbage releases and not like a 15% chance, like they're hitting it consistently with poor releases or all whites because they can't hit greens. So we wanna talk about easy, that's easy. Hitting mid range is easy. Don't turn around and say sharpshooters are overpowered, especially if you're one of the people that asked for it to be this way. And then they, they complain again, 51% says, let's buff it one more time. And that same 51% is gonna be talking about how sharpshooters are crazy overpowered. I'm telling you right now, if you implement a change that makes it even easier for me, I don't know what I would do. Like, it's at that point, I could do anything and it would still hit. It would, it would literally take no skill to be a sharpshooter. And then at that point, I'm better off just using a different player because I no longer, like, at that point, the diminishing returns you get from Hall of Fame Limitless Range, I might as well make another build, like a playmaking shot creator. I would still hit as consistently from three. Literally with the same percentage, I just need a wavy jump shot in my queue, period. To score, and you're really talking about buffing the scoring on the park? I hate to admit it. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you might be trash. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And if you're out here zigzag cheesing, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're trash. <laughs> if you have to zigzag to create a shot, you are trash. Okay, Chris Smooth. Let's, hey, I gotta disagree with you on this one. Chris Smooth, I, I challenge you to make a pure sharpshooter because in previous years of 2K, uh, like, 17, it wasn't as prevalent. Even 16, it wasn't as, but if you go 15, 14, 13, there was a lot of zigzag. And in those years, it was like an option to zigzag. You can hit players and get open regardless because you were an inside player or an outside player. This year, you're in such a niche. Chris Move, I challenge you to make a pure sharpshooter. Do you have two options when you make a pure sharpshooter to get around? Because no one's gonna fall for your dribble move, all right? Unless you're garbage at the game, you're playing anybody decent, no one's gonna fall for it. The only way to get around is to not or to zigzag. There's literally two options. And so when you're staring at not, you're like, I have to zigzag. And then it gets addicting because you can zigzag and hold up. Does my buddy over there have a brick wall screen? And then you add a cheese element to it. Literally anybody under 86 zigzags. If you're under 86 ball control, you're zigzagging. Because once you pass 86, and you know, especially if you're pushing 90 plus, at that point, there's way better ways to get around. But the alternative is you literally become a spot up shooter. Especially as a sharpshooter, people reach all the time. It's like their favorite thing to do. They can't help themselves but to reach. And so you don't really have much time to dribble before someone fouls you or actually pokes the ball loose. So even when I try and play it legitimately, sometimes people keep reaching and I'm like, I, they're leaving me no option. And then they'll hop on the mic and say, you're zigzagging, that don't count. And those would be the same people. Ah, oh, man, that's a whole nother story. I don't think it makes you trash though, but I do think that that's something that has to be addressed. So this is a very interesting dilemma for 2K. But it's not though. I mean, it kind of is, but the solution's there. We know what the solution is. Do I, I'm, I'm gonna say it for y'all, man. It's been a minute, it's been at least a couple months since I said it, man, but ranked, unranked. There's no way to make both groups happy. So to divide the group, let people decide which one they wanna play on. If you wanna play unranked, there you go. You can buff the shooting all you want on unranked. In fact, you could be a pure slasher with Hall of Fame limitless range for all I care and hit your shots. But the second you hop on ranked, you're playing on more strict sliders, strict rules. There will be the competitive side of 2K because the competitive side is looking at the casuals like, they're, they just, because you can't piss off the casuals because that's a huge majority, right? So the comp guys are like, oh, there we go again. Because I'm a casual at Tekken. Could you imagine I was trying to play Tekken and I was mad that I was using Steve and it was too difficult to transition between his stances and I decided to, to, to email the devs. And I said, devs, Harada, can you please make the game easier to play and destroy stances, get it out the game? All the hardcore guys gonna be looking at me like, what do you mean, bitch? Get off the game if you don't wanna play it. And so there's always gonna be that friction for the most part. We all understand both sides exist. There's some games I'm casual, there's some games I'm comp. I don't have time to be comp at every game, or I would be. So you're kind of right, there is a dilemma. But unless you divide the two groups, I'm gonna say it again for the people that didn't hear me in the back. There is no way to make everybody happy because the second you make it easier, people complain it's too easy. You make it harder, people complain it's too hard. This way you divide the groups. You have the ranked group, the comp guys with different sliders and different rules strict, competitive. Then you have the easy guys who try and kick back and don't want to miss an open layup. And there's a possibility that you just could be trash. Maybe you don't know it. Maybe you are hot trash and you don't know it. So this is the public service announcement. <laughs> Some of y'all, he's right, some of y'all are trash. I play against some players on the park where they will point blank leave me open and I'm greening all my threes, but they refuse to defend me and not even like they came for the contest. Like they just leave me. Can you imagine being on that person's team? I'm like, get closed out. You can't leave your guy because he's not going to play help. And so I get it when you're playing with randoms. There's, there's definitely a good dose of trash randoms at the game just trying to get better. Either that or they're trolling. One of the two is happening. Now, the only thing that I think should be buffed would be the layups and the dunks, but I think only for builds that have it. Like if you're a slasher. I don't actually agree with the layup thing. I've been playing against a stupendous amount of people. And I, as a pure sharpshooter, we all understand there's sacrifices to be made. We're great three point shooters, but we're horrible at a ton of stuff. Defense is one of those. Now, regardless of who's playing defense, I've seen slashers that are comp, right? I've seen shot creators, playmakers hit some of the craziest stuff and not like every once in a blue moon, consistently. And of course the blow by animations are OD this year. Regardless, you could be a lockdown and this year you get hit with blow by animations. Now, not nearly as much as if you were a pure sharp, but the fact that it happens, when have y'all ever seen Kawhi get blown by? 
I'll wait. And if that's their whole build, how does that happen? So I think the layups are fine this year. I do think they need to add a layup meter because if there's an excellent release for layups or a good release for layups, the guys who can, that are taking the most layups, they need to be able to know how to time that stuff. Even my sharpshooting playmaker, OD gets blown by. And I be in the best defensive position. I be right in front of him and he just walks through me. And then my team is looking at me and I'm like, yo, I don't know what I could have done about that. It's just the animation that I got. So let's agree on something, all right? There's a bunch of problems with the game that of course need to be addressed. Shooting is not one of them. But next person to try and tell me that they're missing shots and therefore shooting should be buffed. For those people, watch my jump shot video. And if that jump shot video can't help you, you have no hope. <laughs> like, I just, I can't at that point. You just weren't destined, right? I watched my boy Dashy, been an OG, went with like six, seven years at this point, been watching Dashy. And he's ass at every video game he touches. He just is. But I still love to watch him, all right? You might be the Dashy of 2K. Now, it's okay to be that player. Just don't complain and mess it up for everybody else that's having a decent time. Anyway, I felt this video was a necessity. It was that poll that really triggered me. And then I saw Chris Moon's video and I was like, yo, I'm talking about this. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.